Hello. In today's episode of Friday Souls, we will be talking about New Look 6756 and Mimi G's pattern, the Georgia shirt. So if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. It's Friday Souls, it's Friday Souls. What you gonna make? If you wanna hear about everything that I've done this week, let's get started in that video. So, we wanna start off with saying thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating this platform. This is a platform where sewers, vloggers can come on and show you their makes and talk about a little bit about what's going on in their sewing room as well as life so today's question is what is your handbag go-to quick little gift idea that you go to so for me it is going to be simplicity 9525 i don't have the pattern but it's here in my stash i will put a picture up this pattern is really quick and really easy. I love to just make these if I want to sew and I don't really have any sewing plans or have anything going on. Um, let me see if I can get one. So here is one that I've made. Um, and it's just here it has the little toe um, in the pattern you can make it has it where you can make like two different um fabric choices i guess color block but this is just one that i made i made a label that i had um this is this is just some vinyl from some little inexpensive vinyl from uh, dollar tree and then I put a, um, I did, I cut my um, name out with the Cricut and I ironed it on here and it actually did not melt. <laughs> so that's just a tag that I made. But this is a cute bag. Let me see if I can pucker, punch it out, puff it out. But it really is a cute bag that you can give to someone for a gift, fill it up with things or what have you. And I just have, I have a few of them actually. Um. I made this one out of some African theme fabric and they all have the little bags on there they have the little zipper I was making this one as a gift maybe for a, a guy really cute and I used the camouflage for the handle and I use camouflage on the inside. I haven't made the two-tone where the pattern has you make one side out of one fabric, one one side out of another fabric. I haven't done that yet, which would be really cute. And if I find something and I want to try it, I'll probably try that too. But that is really my go-to pattern. It's a really quick make. It only takes a little while to make it. You can make several in a day. Really easy, especially um, you can make those and maybe fill it with candy and give it to a teacher for a gift. Really inexpensive and quick to make. You can even make it out of your fabric scraps. All right, so let's get let's start with what I worked on first. So the first part of the week, I'm showing a video of what I was doing, but I I had uh, a pile of jeans that I needed to repair. Um, but I knew that once I repaired them to just give them a fresh look and a better, I don't know, just more cohesive after the mending. So the mending won't be as obvious. I wanted to dye them as well as Bay is working a new job and they need black slack, black pants. And I know these other pants that I were mending were what are the jeans that he was working in. So I was like, okay, they already are busted and disgusted and if we can fix them let's try it's just for work he does a lot of moving and shaking you know moving things or whatever so if we can try to repair them and save the jeans let's try it so what i did was i did some mending on all the jeans i just had scraps of um denim i actually had one long piece and i just you cut it up to make different little 
patches for the um, holes in the jeans. So um, now he did have one pair that did not, and I think that's this pair, one pair that did not need any mending. What happened was it was just it just happened to be a um a faded pair of black jeans. So I threw those in my bucket as well, and I think that's what those were. But I'm trying to show you my little patches. Um, yeah, just nothing special. Just these little patches. I put the I made it bigger. Did all my sewing and the excess I just cut off, which I could probably stand to cut this little bit off as well. So I did that for all the jeans that needed repairs. Um, I let it soak overnight because what was going to happen? I don't know. So I just let it soak overnight, and um, and what I did was I put the wet jeans in my washing machine with laundry detergent and I washed them and they all came out really really nice so this is um I think this was his faded pair and you can see it looks nice and crisp and black and it turned out really nice I'll fold clothes while I'm talking to you guys so this pair came out really nice and um it had no it needed no mending this pair was um this pair was actually a light wash. I don't have any, but you know, the light wash denim, this was that. And it had a, uh, I guess with some super glue or something was on his pants. So I was like, so let's throw that in there as well. Anything for free work pants. Um, so these came out really nice. I would like to do another round of the dye just so I can get, uh, I don't know, I feel like a little need a little extra in there. But for right now, I feel like they turned out really good. The ones that I had where the thighs had a brawl, a fight, you can see it's still a little light right there, but they are patched up. And unless you were invited to that area, you really don't have no business down there. So who's gonna see that? So that is the first thing that I worked on this week. Next, I worked on Mimi G's pattern, the Georgia shirt. This is a really, really cute shirt. It is a turtleneck and it has a ruffle up here at the um, shoulder seam where the shoulder meets the arm. I did not put the ruffle on there because I really needed a basic turtleneck and I feel like it turned out really good, really cute. So I'm going to show you my shirt. This is the fabric that I used. And I don't know where I got this fabric from, but you can see it has texture on it. And it, had a, it has a good amount of little stretch. So I was like, this is going to be perfect for this pattern. So this is the Georgia shirt pattern, a turtleneck. Like I said, I did not put the um, ruffle on. I'm sure it's an easy, easy addition. And I'm actually going to make it with the ruffle. I just wanted a plain black shirt but right now. Um, I felt like this was really easy and y'all know that I'm always making up my own rules but this pet if you hear pitter patter that's my dogs running back and forth this pattern was really really easy and don't ask me how I printed out the pattern and I did not print out the instructions but I did not then I went back in to print the instructions I am not the savviest when it comes to Dropbox and all of that so I couldn't get back to where I needed to get to to get my instructions But a shirt is a shirt and we all know you got a front a back arm collar And that was all I did it. So is this pattern comes with um, I Want to say it's five pieces. Let's see Yes, five pieces so I have the this is the back, which is piece number one, and it's cut on the fold. I have the front, which is piece number two, cut on the fold. I have the sleeve, piece number three, and I have the collar, this piece is number four. And piece number five is the ruffle that you would put on your sleeve, which I did not use, but I will use when I make this pattern again. 
I highly recommend this pattern. This is excellent for beginners. This is excellent for someone who has a new serger and you are learning how to use your, use your serger because you can, you're going to use this with knit fabrics. This is a perfect, perfect pattern. Mimi G, Mimi G did her thing on this. I highly, highly, highly recommend for anyone who sews. I also made a new look pattern this week as well. This is, um, let me get to it. This is new look 6756. I'll put the picture. I made the pants version, which is version B. So it has the shorts, which is version A, and the pants are version B. I'm going, I, I have to say this about this pattern. As, as I go along my sewing journey, I am learning to, I'm learning what looks great on my body type, on my body. So this pattern, when I say I highly recommend this, this is very beginner friendly. It is rated as easy and it is easy. It is super, super simple to me. Um, I feel like a beginner could really take off with this. The thing is, if you are a wide leg person, so I highly recommend this pattern, but I personally don't think I'm going to make another pair just because once I made them, I don't like how they necessarily make me look in the pants, but I love the pants and I'm not going to do anything with the pants. I'll be wearing my pair of pants. I just don't think I'll make a second pair. This it has elastic in the waist. So what I did was, um, I think it had you sew channels. So I sewed two channels because I was using what I had, and I I think I had two. Um, I had one inch um, elastic. So I just did um, two channels and did the elastic through um, both of them. But the top one, I went through the elastic just to give it that look. I don't know why I didn't go through the bottom. I, I was just doing other things. But I gave it that look by just sewing and pulling to make it look like I did more than the two channels. The front of the pants, I did a little cup, just a tad bit of color blocking with the um with this fabric from the shirt right here i like that feature so if you make these pants that would be a really cool feature just to do a little color blocking on your pocket because it shows just a, just enough to give you that mm. but i thought i was looking really cute i hope you all see my pictures up here i thought i was looking cute i was feeling cute i was the comfort level was there um so i don't know i will give this pattern a five out of five though i honestly feel like it is the easy make and you can if you like wild leg pants this may be your thing so i don't know if i'm going to make it again but i don't think so <laughs> but i love them i think this pair is just on point i like the fabric that i chose it was it's a pop of something i wore it with a um a fuchsia color color short trench coat yesterday that, that i did not make <clears throat> it was already um it was a what do you call it a ready to wear garment that i got at a yard sale for five dollars so i was i thought i was popping yesterday on my way to work i even had to do a little inventory and there was an area my boss like oh you can't go back there because you're just too cute today <laughs> so <laughs> i didn't do that part because he wanted to get dirty but um yeah i love that pattern I overall had a great experience with both of these patterns. Both of these are beginner, beginner friendly. I'm telling you, if you make it and if this is your style, these are the patterns for you. You can go to, um, now the Mimi G pattern, I got the pattern for free for signing up for her to be a member of her blog, if I'm not mistaken. You can also purchase this pattern. I think it is $9, but I feel like it is worth every penny. Because this is uh, probably going to be my go-to long sleeve shirt pattern. Because I could even see taking the um, the turtleneck off and just putting the, and having just like a little collar like this. I feel like it's so much I could do with that pattern. And if you have a, your book, she teaches you how to just use a pattern and make it your own. And I feel like this shirt pattern is one of those patterns you can do that with. Hey, cameraman. I feel like this pattern is something you can do that with. 
So let's get on to announcements. I do have um, plenty of patterns to share with you guys, but I think I'm going to go to the sale today. Um, and Simplicity is on sale at the time that I'm making this video. And I'm going to probably add some more. So I'll probably just do a pattern haul video. So I will show that later and I didn't want to, I didn't want to have take up so much of your time because you are surely taking some of your time to spend with me and I appreciate you. If you have not, please think about subscribing. I would really love to have you here where we have fun learning to sew together. So some announcements for this week are... If you have not watched my video that I put out on Friday, it is my 1,000 subscriber video where I'm doing a giveaway. So if you want to be entered into the giveaway, you have to go to that video and watch it and see how. I really appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel and who has been here from day one. But a special shout out, and I know she is tired of me thanking her, but I'm going to tell you a little story. I was looking at my... Um, youtube channel and i was at work and i was telling my boss i was like oh my goodness i'm at 999 and he was like oh well you want me to go in and and subscribe i said no i want to get it organically but how more organic can you get when someone takes it upon themselves to put a call to action out and you reach a milestone that you have been waiting to reach there is none other like that. And I am so thankful to Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to keep preaching that to you because you already know. But thank you. Your call to action put me in a space where I, what I always tell my children that get tired of me saying is that we are not here for ourselves. We are here for other people. And that is a prime example of what I preach to my children all the time. You have to be in the space to want to help and give. And I appreciate that she was in that space. I really, really appreciate that. But like I say, most of all, I really appreciate my subscriber because there are people who have been down with me from day one. Even though I had my other channel, they were down with me. It wasn't a bit, it wasn't a best but it's a still a channel and it's still up if you want to check it out it's she she crafted creations but i appreciate you for taking time out of your day to spend with me so that's all we're going to say we hit a thousand subscribers okay i gotta look down at my notes because i can't remember everything so i do apologize if i'm not giving you my full attention but next i want to talk about the um multi-channel vlogmas tour so this year, a bunch of vloggers got together and we have created a tour where each of us have a set aside day for the first 24 days of December where we bring to you whatever we want to bring to you about our Christmas or our patterns or what we're making. That is our day. So I just wanted to shout out for myself. You can see my video on Monday, December the 11th. But don't forget to check out the other um, bloggers who are particip participating in this parade of bloggers to show their Christmas create. So what you can do, if you want to see all the bloggers, you can put in a hashtag sewing vlogmas tour. And that will pull up everyone who's, who's on that tour, who's using that hashtag, who's creating their video, these videos, these first, um, the first 24 days so on the 11th I, I think that I'm sharing with somebody and I need to check that out but I will put that up here um I think it's another another, another vlogger on the same day as me but the day before me will be just let me sew so don't forget to check her out she will be on that Sunday and that Tuesday will be Who, who's your handmade so don't forget to check those videos out, guys. But don't forget to go to Sewing Vlogmas Tour, hashtag Sewing Vlogmas Tour, and check out the videos that everyone is putting out. Next, I would like to tell you, do not miss the last episode of Embrace the Lace, where I am doing a collaboration with Lara from Sewing Up Style and Grace from So Lovely with Grace, where we take lace and incorporate it in our garments. 
you are not going to want to miss this last episode. It's probably going to be our best one yet. So don't forget to tune in to that. It will air on the 29th of December. So whatever you're doing, turn the TV on so you can watch how we embrace the lace on the 29th of December. All right, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, to please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And for those of you who just stopping by to watch my video, I appreciate you watching and taking the time to do that as well. Until next time, just remember you are so awesome. And we'll see you on the next video.